Okay, so this is the lesson for kinematics, lesson one, uh, scalar and vectors. Okay, specifically we want to know the difference between displacement versus distance and velocity versus uh, speed. Okay, so these are the learning objectives. Uh, I shall go through them. You can pause to have a look. Okay, so uh, before we understand uh, displacement and uh, distance or velocity and speed, we need to understand what is the difference between scalar and vector. Okay, scalar quantities are quantities that have magnitude only. There some of the examples are as follows. Okay, like distance, speed, mass, and time. The vector quantities are physical quantities that have magnitude and direction. Okay, it's and direction. So there are two things. So some examples are like uh, displacement, which is a vector quantity. So we instead of saying 10 meters, we also say 10 meters north. Velocity is like 60 km per hour, but it's moving towards east. So distance and displacement. So distance is a scalar quantity. It only has a magnitude, so meaning how far an object travels in total. And as uh, mentioned, displacement is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. Okay, so it's actually comparing how far an object is currently compared to its starting position. Okay, using this as an example, so if the object starts at zero, it moves to this position at 4.5 meters away, and then it moves back to uh, 2.5. So the total distance in this case is 4.5, and it has traveled 2 meters back. So in this case, it's 6.5 meters. But the total displacement is slightly different. It's kind of comparing your final position with your starting position. So in this case, it's 2.5 minus 0, which is 2.5 meters, and it is to the right. So it is important for you to understand that there is two information, the how far away and where. Okay. So if we use another example, let's say we have a different starting position, which is uh, 3 meters and then it moves towards at 7.5 so it has moved by 4.5 and it has uh, come back to this 5.5 so you realize that distance uh, in this case is still 4.5 plus 2 which is 6.5 and the total displacement is actually the again it is the uh, final position subtract away the uh, starting position, which is starting position which is at 3, final position at 5.5 so you find that actually it will still arrive at the same uh, answers uh, or, or same uh, situation okay so it doesn't matter where, what's your starting position, okay whether it be 0 or 3 so your starting position can be a different location but the method of calculation is remains the same so you have this example three. You have two lo uh, two vehicles, one lorry, one car. So a uh, lorry travels by here, okay. Uh, travel by three uh, travel a three distance of three kilo uh, three hundred kilometer. A car travels by uh, this uh, hundred and seventy five, okay. So the distance traveled by lorry, of course, is three hundred. The distance traveled by car is hundred and seventy five. But in this case, the displacement for both lorry and car is actually the same because we are comparing the start in the end. So despite they travel at different routes. Okay, so in this case the displacement of car and displacement of lorry are both 105 km uh, west. Next we come to uh, speed and velocity. They are similar, uh, I mean as compared to dis displacement and distance. Is the speed is a scalar and only has magnitude. So you say the speed of car is 60 km per hour. Okay, so vec uh, velocity is a vector quantity and contain both magnitude and direction. So, in, uh, so the velocity contains a bit more information, which is 60 km per hour, say x, maybe towards north or towards any other direction. But you you have a bit more information. Okay, what is the car doing? So uh, there are po many possible units for uh, speed and velocity, and depending on needs, it can be kilometer per hour, uh, meters per second, or centimeters per second. Uh, but so depend on it. So for cars, it's kilometer per hour. For a person running, maybe it's meters per second. Okay. So as long as the the unit for speed and velocity, as long as follow the rules of distance divided by time. Okay. So any 
unit for distance and a unit for time. So the default is uh, meters per second, as meter and seconds are the SI units for the distance and time. Okay, now right now come to a uh, positive and negative displacement. You might have encountered this. So displacement is a vector quantity and has both magnitude and direction again. Okay, so but sometimes to make it simpler, we only restrict the movement of the object to one dimension and only two types. That means that it's either the object can only move up or down or left or right. Okay, so make it simple. So we are just assign one positive sign to one or direction. Uh, usually it is up to be positive, and so therefore down is negative, uh, or right to be positive, going towards right to be positive, or left to be negative. Okay. So uh, the reason for this is very simple, it's because when you draw graphs uh, uh, for x, y axis, do you still remember how do you place your positive and negative? Okay, so if you have an axis, okay, generally this is the positive number, this is positive number, this is negative number, this is negative number. Okay. So if an object can only move left or right, plus uh, five meters means that the object is right, five meters right of the starting position. And negative 10 means that object is uh, 10 meters left of the negative position. Okay, so that means that if you have a object, your starting position is over here. Uh, plus 5 means that object is over here. If you have negative 10, maybe the object is over here. Okay, so it actually gives you uh, precisely where the object is uh, with respect to your starting position. So same thing if your object can only move up or down. Uh, positive means that uh, 5 meters is higher than the initial position. So if the object is originally here, it moves up. This is plus 5 meters, is uh, minus 10 meters. Okay, so uh, positive and negative uh, of the displacement indicates where uh, of compared to the uh, initial position of the object. In similar manner, Positive and negative sign of the velocity indicates the direction of which the object is traveling. Okay, traveling. So positive. Uh, so if you have two objects, a one is traveling at plus three, one is traveling at negative five meters per second. Okay, plus three means that object a is traveling towards right. Okay, so, so that means that it is traveling towards right. Okay, in a certain speed, plus three meters per second. Okay, negative uh, means that object b is actually traveling left. Okay, minus five meters per second. Okay, if you compare A and B, actually which object is traveling faster? And the answer is B. Okay, because B, this number five is actually faster. Five meters per second is faster than three meters per second. Okay, positive and negative only indicates the direction of the travel and not how fast the object is traveling. Okay, so uh, some of pitfalls to avoid. Uh, positive and negative sign and velocity has no relationship with one another. Okay, means that uh, positive velocity, uh, positive velocity, doesn't uh, doesn't necessarily means that it must be positive displacement. Okay, so yeah, positive velocity doesn't mean that it has, must be positive. It can be a negative displacement. Likewise, a negative object have a negative displacement doesn't necessarily means that it is a velocity must be negative. It must. It can have a positive velocity. Okay, so okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, uh, what I meant is that if the object is uh, having uh, a positive velocity, let's say three, okay, uh, but it can have a negative position, which is let's say minus two, okay, so you find that the object is traveling in this manner, okay, so it was originally here, okay, and it is traveling. Okay, so likewise, uh, uh, object can have a positive position, five, and can have a negative velocity, let's say negative three. Okay, so can you predict what will happen? Okay, you find that of course the the person is facing here is actually traveling in this manner. Okay, so positive position, negative, okay, uh, velocity. So. Positive and negative displacement uh, only means it is left or right compared to the initial position. Positive and negative velocity means that it is traveling towards right or left, okay, uh, depending uh, on how you say it's positive and negative. Uh, some other things, average speed and velocity, 
So average speed can be calculated using uh, total distance divided by total time. And average velocity, of course, is using uh, total displacement divided by total time. Okay, so uh, correspondingly distance speed, displacement velocity. Okay, uh, so displacement is comparing final position with the starting position. Uh, some people avoid um, average speed of velocity is not the average of the speeds of the object. Um, confused? It means that if, let's say for example, if it's traveling 60 km per hour for 30 minutes, 90 km per hour for 1 hour, 45 km for 50 minutes, how do you calculate the average speed? The wrong way to do this is to take 60, 30, and 90, add them up and divide by 3. Okay, this is not correct. Uh, the correct way is to take the total distance, okay, which is, uh, you have to calculate uh, total distance, which is uh, the first one, 60 km for half an hour, 30, 90 km for one hour, and 45 minutes, uh, 45 for uh, 15 minutes. Okay, I think that's some like error, but anyway, so you need to calculate 45 km per for 15 minutes, I think it's divided by four. Okay, so, yep. So you need to take the total distance divided by total time. So this is summary. Okay, that's the end of uh, lesson one. Okay, thank you.